Hello, and welcome to Rose Play, Season 22, Episode 33. As always, I'm your host, Orion Moon Rose. And today we'll be continuing the Let's Play of Final Fantasy 16 on the Final Fantasy difficulty. So, last time we saved our good old Chocobo friend, came back, and had some side quests to do before... Heading off to take See, out another I'm mother crystal. I was hoping to speak to you. Is well, okay. Right? Just, just, yeah, it's just stuttering. Well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. Oh. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I see that. That's Turn nice. On. You see, after she, well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. I get that. Not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She oh. Broke the right out of it. Then what do you need me Impressive. for? And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers, on account of all they do for the high. Oh, you want me to dish out food again? Could you? Seems better them coming from you. Why not? I'm sure they'll be pleased. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. All right. You hear that, Martell? Martell's the apples. Finally the day. I'm glad you cared about her legacy so much. Very appreciated, but now I've got to go, uh, side questing. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you come through the forge today? Did I come through the forge today? I just did. I I don't smell anything for obvious reasons. I hear there's trouble in That broom's as ragged as I didn't know goat had locks, but okay. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Martel Zappal. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Yes. Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Loved plants more than people. <laughs> oh, you oh, there you go. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. Yeah, she died Those there. Apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. You're welcome. Others weren't so lucky, though. A gift from the backyard, for your service. Boy, they look kind of orangey. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Martell or Sid? Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. Yep. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. <laughs> that sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Yep, you don't get any. Nah, you can. These aren't Martells, are they? They are. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will you? Of course. He'll be happy to hear that. Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. 
Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Of course. That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Probably. As I try to take out the poor guy who's just trying to do his job, and I'm like, ha, ha. All right. I got good news. And their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. Mm hmm. After all these years. Yeah, thankfully they were around for it. Kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. Well, now her soul can rest in peace. The sapping after her. And now it's a full grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her had you not kept it alive. This is true. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really. But you took the tree, you did a lot. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. Good. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Agreed. Wow, that's some good experience for just going around the, uh... Alright, awesome. Because I don't think I can travel yet. Nope. Up, oh, wrong way. How am I getting out of here? I'm lost. So I've got to continue the story first. And then we can come back and do the... Uh, whatever they are. Yeah, let's have a look at Martel's apples that was sent to me. Isn't that wonderful? We got apples sent to us. All right, let's go ahead and move on to here so that we can then move back and get the two quests, the Notorious Marks, that's it. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. Yeah, but we're going after a crystal. You know how dangerous that can be. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Again. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. Gav or Koopka? Okay, it must be Wasn't Gav. It Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance, especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Um, what is it, buddy? Is it because we're close to home? I always knew that I would return one. Must day. be because we're close to home. Return to Iron Home. 
for what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. You were not, right? If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Well, I will be by your side through every step of it. We will face it together then. See? To the Good end. guy that Clive is. Even though I don't know what, not whether that, yeah, blah, blah. even though we're not staying at just the second, though. Come on. Bloodlines. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More it's likely. possible. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Okay. But that is not what we need right now. Alright. We can head back now, right? Yep. So let's go ahead and do the two notorious marks, shall we? All right. That broom's as ragged as good. Tends to be sometimes. So Mather's all right. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Nectar. The Angel of Death. A trader coming by the way of Carnavant met with a troop of curse breakers traveling to the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead. His eyes wild and flickering, though the curse breakers saw nothing untoward on their own journey, though there passed the sound of crackling laughter from the trees and surged, they kept us at a brisk pace. And Belfalog. Reports have been received of a wild avian striking size, making its nest atop the hill adjacent to East Pool. Though all efforts are being made not to rouse the beast's ear, it is surely but a matter of time before it needs to feed. I hereby petition any brave volunteers to march to the northern border that we might cut the fiend down before it makes tracks of... Okay. So... All right. There we go. And we're going to take on. Uh, they call me Angel of the Morning. Angel. All right, let's go. Them pilgers nice and chilled. Look at this place. Mike for Amber is not going to happen. I'm going to get the items, and then I think I see the angel over there. Oh, okay. Didn't even know you were there. Over here. Now we do. That's not bad. But there is an item over... Nope. There is an item over here and an item over there. We're going to try to stay away from our spider brethren. 
Ow. I guess never mind. Okay, I'm a little off on where it was supposed to be, but... We're going to stay away from it just a little bit to recover some of our AP, but to also grab the rest of the items that are around. Hopefully we can gain a level from this. Yeah, I've got no need to fight you unless you want to fight me, but... Mm, hello, Angel of Death. I see you're one of the harpies that got away, apparently. Aruna. If that's what I think it is, 65, wow. Easy. She, uh, quite up there. She's got quite a bit of a level on us, doesn't she? But Yeah, she's ahead of us, but, you know, it happens. Ooh. Come on, you're almost there. Yes! Dagger! Yeah, it's got a lot of, uh, HP. Being 65, I wouldn't expect any left. Nice. I already kind of forgot she was with us. <laughs> Ooh, nice. And she's already halfway stunned. Oh, we're determined to take her out. Nice. We deflected her. Oh, not a problem. All right, we'll just leave it there. We got the first one. Nice, a level. Fifty nine to sixty. Awesome. Flawless clouded eye. Rest well. I know I will. All right, and then we also. 
Well, we got time for the other one. And then we also had Bella Flog. All right. We need East Pool. Oh. There's East Pool. All right. So, we're at least finishing the side quest, so that's nice. All right, we got to go here. That's a little bit of a ways, but thankfully, I see that item. Don't think I don't. All right, we won't be able to actually continue the story this episode, but next episode for sure. This episode, we got to take out a dragon, and I got to be s smarter than the average anything. That was not what I was expecting, but, eh. I guess we'll have the, uh, attack up. You make it look easy. I try, I try. Yep. There it be! Belfog. I'm gonna call you Hobgoblin. Oh god, and it's B. Alright, so what it's, what's its level app? 70! That's even worse! Alright. And that'll help heal us a little bit. Nice. I caught you off guard, didn't I, Belflog? That should... Bam. There we go, I was like, what the... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Well, for being 10 levels behind, we're sure giving him a good licking, aren't we? Dang. We 
They've done quite good, though. Look at that. We got this. Oh, I was going to say it's time to take him staggered, but we're not near, are we? Nice. We got him. Get him. Eh, that's fine. We can return to the base and heal. Time to take him out. Oh, with lightning. 280. That's nice. That's really nice. The flawless dragon talons, too. Awesome. We're gonna need that. Alright. So, yeah, hopefully there's not any more of them. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the hideaway quickly, just to, you know, rest. Since it does give us healing, whatever. Oh, there's a letter, too. I hear this I'm betting it's about Martell's apple. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it's all right to touch him. An apple a day, I was right. Lad from the yard ran up a basket of martels just this morning. Sweet as honey and crisp as the morning breeze they were. I told myself I was only going to have one, but I reckon if no one else listened to old Otto, I don't have to either. <laughs> you let Nigel and his lot know they've done a fine job. Was a time you'd catch none but Sid supping on these. What for their foul bite, but for him it never were about the flavor, but about what they represented. Our ability to make it on our own, and look at us now, Sid would be proud. Awesome. And for now we've taken care of all the hunts. Which is awesome. Okay. Make sure all the hunts are taken care of, which I think they are. For now, at least. All right, and we will. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. We'll do pillow talk. Here you are. Thanks. Wow, we only need five more. That's hilarious. All right, we shall. Head to our main objective and save and leave it there. And next episode, we'll actually continue. I mean, it wasn't that bad. A, a side quest show and all, you know. And hey, we gained another level, didn't we? Ooh, that means all the world. So we'll go ahead and leave it here. When we come back... We'll head for our uncle's place and prepare to take out the crystal some more. We'll see how long that lasts. But until then, remember, keep gaming, never give up. And if you want to threaten the lives of people, I'll be there to take you out, Notorious Marks.